Okay, let's let's do a quick overview of your bike. We've done it before, but for people who haven't seen it yet, very quickly. As far as I know, this started out life as a Kawasaki Z1000 Mark II. Uh, correct. 78? 78, 79. 79. Yeah. And since then it's been changed just a wee bit. So very quickly, let's see what's different about it. It's been monoshocks at the back. Yes. So what's that from? Is that a R1? R1. The front forks are also from a Yamaha. No. Are they not? Kawasaki? Kawasaki ZX6. Right. Front brakes are Brembo monoblocks on one-off mounts and yep. the discs are PFMs. PFM, pretty cool. Tank is from a ZRX. ZRX. 12 Seat unit is from a Triumph Daytona. Thank you. One-off instrument pod. Yeah. And of course, small change, it's got a bloody big supercharger on it. Yeah. And that's the third version, I think, isn't it? The third one you've had on it? Third supercharger yeah. now, yeah. And that was fitted about a year ago or over the last year or so. Over the last two years. And to do that, you meant making new manifolds, new drives, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, a lot of work. Not easy at all. No. Well, it's also been eight plugged, of course, and it's no longer 1000cc. No, it's 1260. 1260. And the reason we're here today is, despite the rain, is that today you're trying to start it for the very first time in two years. Two, two, and, two and a half years, years, yeah. With this new setup. And you're telling me you kind of started up? And started up and I had it eventually idling, yeah. Yeah. And so. Just so the customers here. Actually, no. One more thing, of course. You've got an exhaust pipe on it. Yes. It's four into four. You're sort of Mad Max special. So, be interested to hear how it sounds. That's the main thing. And we might even be able to put it outside soon because it is getting a bit drier. Yeah. It does look Just in case. We'll push just it out in case. And while we're waiting to get the bike outside, I would add we have already done a very detailed analysis of the bike and its history on a previous vlog, and I'll put the link up in the comments. Here it is. Yeah, okay, so shall we try and start it? I'll stand back in case it's going to blow my ears out. If the battery's up to it. Uh, well, we can only try, we can only try. So I've knitted this bike. Here we go. Okay, so it's now getting a bit warmer. Sounds a bit better. Okay, less so it runs. Doesn't run perfectly yet, but it no. seems to pick up really quick. Yep, that, that'll be the high lift cams. Yeah. Um, it's also bloody loud. <laughs> yeah, well, obviously, I wanted to run it without baffles to gauge how right. much to silence it, really. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, what's next then? You're saying. Next is, is fueling. Got to remap the. Got to remap the fueling and uh, also and maybe the ignition. That? This is a aftermarket injection system. Yep. And you can play around with the map. It's fully, it. fully adjustable. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think's wrong with it? Is it too rich? Is it too... Uh, uh, well, it'll be rich in places and lean in others, yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when it was idling, it seemed a little bit lean. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the next thing is to, is to get it all fueled up. Right. Well, it's now the beginning of March. It's gone all cloudy. It's going to rain soon, so we'll put it back in the shed. 
and hopefully by the time the spring comes and the sun's shining. Uh, well, the plan, we'll the plan it, is uh, to ride it on my birthday at the end of March. Right, I think that's probably quite possible. Very likely. Yeah. Now we've had no major problems. Yeah, great stuff. And now, cup of tea. Cup of tea. And with that, thanks for watching and cheers.